the commissioning phase for, for us is very, very nerve-wracking. We are producing prototypes, mostly, and bringing the machine to life is, is very nerve-wracking. The machine is uh, packaging different kind of pillow bags, like potato chips, or it could be uh, salad bags, into cases, which is uh, already erected and fed into the machine from external. And it does so in an unprecedented speed. Virtual commissioning for us means that we can actually test a lot of things in a virtual environment before we need to build the hardware. We realized virtual commissioning with the NX tool and the Mechatronic Concept Designer and the, the PLC Sim Advanced in together with the TI port. The main advantages we received on this machine with virtual commissioning is especially on the kinematics uh, setup of this machine. Because of having two kinematic systems work in one shared space, we could test out the complete system in a virtual environment and uh, of course we had some uh, virtual crashes, which uh, saved us a lot of money. When you do the design, production, assembly, then the software guy starts to program. Uh, in this case, he actually came out with the software, pushed the button, and, and it worked. No collisions. By playing with a virtual model, you can learn a lot. And doing that, it's fun. Doing on the physical machine, that's not fun, that's scary. When we use MCD to test out these things in a virtual environment in the office, of course we reduce the risk of damaging the machine. And of course uh, every damage to the machine is uh, quite devastating to the commissioning time. So that, that's a big risk saver. Earlier I had a little board on the, each machine where they put a dot for each collision they ended up with and this could be converted into expensive bottles of brandy for the team to share. Today they only drink water, because all the collisions are done digitally, not on the real life. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.